What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to send bulk emails. So say you have a list similar to this one and you want to send an email for each row in your Excel file. So here we'll be sending out seven emails and we want to send them all out at once. So this, these emails are going to contain the country and let's go ahead and send the population as well. Uh, let's get right into it. So we'll call this sub bulk emails and we'll declare our variables. We'll have out app as an object. Out mail as an object. And then we'll have our, our string body, str body as string. And then we're going to also have a count where we count the number of lines. And we're going to use um, a variable i to iterate through a loop that we're going to create. And we'll set that as an integer. All right, so let's go ahead and get the count first. So we're going to set our count equal to worksheet function and we're going to start counting from this cell here from a4 and we're going to count down so we should get one two three four five six seven eight as our count at this point so let's go ahead and say our range is a4 because A4 is where we're going to be starting from. So I could have like B4 or C4 if I wanted to. But um, keep in mind that if there's a space, it'll, it'll ruin your count. So you have to make sure whichever column you're using to set your count that there aren't any spaces in that particular column. All right. I messed that up some kind of way. Oh yeah, this should be a period. All right. So then I, we're gonna use, our I is gonna be equal to five because that's where our actual country name start so we're going to set i equal to five and then we'll go right into our loop so we're going to have a do while loop so we're going to do while i is less than or equal to the count and then you close your loop with loop and i said earlier that the count at this point is going to be eight and I is going to be at five. So that would only give us four loops because five is only less than or equal to count four times because you have five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to have to add to our count. So we'll add three. So now our count is equal to 11. So I'll go through the loop once when it's at five then again at six and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and that'll give us seven um, iterations of our loop. So that will make sure we get all of our countries. And I'll run through it to show exactly what I'm talking about as far as the count goes, and making sure that you make it through the entire list. All right, so. We'll say that we can set our out app equal to create object. And that'll be the Outlook application. And then we'll set out mail. equal to our app 
dot create item zero and then we'll determine what our string body is going to be so str body is going to be equal to let's go ahead and get the formatting out the way so we'll get our font size and our font style and our uh, with body style and that'll be equal to font size let's go with a font size of 12 and font family uh, let's go ahead and go with Arial. All right, I'll take it on to the next line. So I'll do an ampersand and an underscore to continue. And I'm going to say hello. Then I'll break. This is HTML, by the way. Another ampersand, underscore. And then I'm going to reference the sheet here. So this sheet's actually called sheet one, if you can see at the bottom. So I can type in sheets. Sheet one. And then the cell that I want to reference is going to be this one here for Australia. And we said I equal to five, so I can use I because this is going to be changing as we go through the loop. So at this point, it's five, five down, and then in the first column. So it's going to be five and one. So I and one. And we're going to we're going to retrieve the text from that cell. So I'm going to say Australia and then has a make sure to put a space after that has a population of space. And then we're going to move to the next line. And now I'm going to reference this cell here. So sheets, sheet one, and cells will be I again because it's in the same row. And then I'm going over three. So it's going to be three here. And I want to retrieve the text. And then I'll go ahead and end it. Make sure I put a period. And then I'll do a couple of breaks. And then ampersand underscore. And then I'll end the email with best regards. Break. Greg. So that'll be our message body. So essentially, we're going to be sending out seven emails that are going to say, um, Australia has a population of this, Belgium has a population of this, and so on. So no matter how many rows you have, the count will take an account of that, and the loop will continue to go through until it reaches the end of your data set. So we'll keep going on. So on error, resume next. And then with outmail, which we set up here, we're going to determine who we're sending this to. So we can say to, uh, I'll just go ahead and do something generic, like abc at 123.com. And then you can have your cc. I'll leave that blank. And then bcc, I'll also leave that blank. And then the subject, we can go with um, population, 
of space and then we're going to reference this column here all right so now i'll put display so that we can see the emails as they, as they pop up and they don't automatically send and then I'll do HTML body and then I'll use STR body for the body of our email which we composed right here and then you end it with HTML body alright so now we can end our width on error go to zero and then we'll go ahead and set out mail to nothing and we'll set out app to nothing and then we have to make sure that in order to go through our loop that we iterate I so we'll increase our I by one so I started off as five at the end of our loop it'll go to six and then it'll get checked here and then it'll go through again, it'll change to seven, it'll check, and then keep going into this loop until it is equal, uh, uh, as long as it's less than or equal to the count, it'll continue to go. But once it surpasses the number of the count, then the, it will exit the loop and end our sub. All right, so let's go ahead and see how this runs. And there you have it, you can see all the emails getting generated but if you see there's an actual issue with each one of these there is a space in between the actual population in that period so in order to remedy that we can do this. We can add another variable at the top here. We can call it um, pop for population. And then when we're in the loop, we can go ahead and uh, set our pop equal to this. Let's go ahead and say pop is equal to left and then we'll reference the population column so we'll say sheet one cells i3 and we're doing this inside the loop and not outside the loop because we need to make sure that i continues to update so we want the text and then we're going to do length or len sheet one cells text and then we're going to do minus one so what this does is it decreases the length of the string by one and that'll get rid there should be a there we go so what this does is going to decrease the length of the string by one and that'll get rid of the space that we saw But what we'll have to do is reference pop right here. So we're taking this part out and putting in pop. And let's go ahead and run it again and see what happens. And you see that we're good. So 
all the emails generated. And it's because we were able to increase the count by three. If we never increase the count at all, count will be eight, I is five. If I run it again, I'm only gonna get one, two, three, four emails generated. So you have to make sure to always keep that into account. So we'll have that as three and say I was equal to 10. We'd only have two emails generate. So that's all I have for this video. I really appreciate you watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.